Hi everybody, I recently saw a question coming up on Facebook and the question was if it's possible to make a crossfade between two audio events with a specific length and type using a macro. And yes, that's absolutely possible, so let me show you how that works. First make sure that your macro toolbar is open. Now let's go to the audio editing page and here let's create a new group. For this, I right click in this upper area in the macro toolbar and choose New Group. Then I right click this group and double click the title in order to edit it and let's call it Fades. And now I right click here on the empty space and create a new button. Right click again and choose Assign. And now we can create a new macro that will run when we click this button. In this dialog, we're gonna look for fade. And this will bring up all the commands that have something to do with fades, like remove crossfades or fade into cursor, which is extremely useful too. But this time, I'm gonna select create crossfades. And the interesting part of that is that on the right side, you can see if a command has parameters. And as you can see, this command has three parameters, length, type, and bend. And that means that we can change these parameters by double-clicking the command here in the macro list. This opens a little window with three text fields and we can enter the crossfade length in seconds. Now for this particular command there are some things to know. In the type field you can enter one of these three values, logarithmic, exponential or linear. Be sure to write them with the first letter in uppercase in order to make that work. Now for the band value, this is only if you're using a logarithmic or exponential crossfade. And this is a number between 0 and 1. So let's use a logarithmic crossfade and set band to 1. And that's basically it. Now click OK and let's enter a name for our macro and click OK to close the macro editor. So here is our new macro button. And what I can do now is select two audio events and click crossfade and it works. Now what you can do if you want to have different crossfades with different lengths or types is you can right click the button, duplicate the macro. This also creates a new button. Now edit the macro and just change the parameters, for example, to make a long crossfade. And we want this to be linear. Let's change the name. And now we need to rename the button as well. And now we can use them. So this way we can make buttons that can create any kind of crossfades for us. Now, of course, you can do the same for autofades, or if you just want to use a command that does not have any parameters, you don't need to create a macro for that. You can directly right click the button, choose assign, select fade in to cursor. And this is very useful, especially if you have multiple events on different tracks and you want to select them and just add a fade in to a certain position. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.